The winner of the Innovica Award, uh, Jason Lyons. Okay, now what is the product that actually won this uh, Gala event? Uh, it's called the uh, Medicius Simulation of Epidurals. And now uh, for the layman out there, we're probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? What does that mean <laughs> to the average person? Uh, basically, to the average person, not an amazing amount other than um, it's mainly structured for uh, surgeons who are well, anesthetists um, who are practicing the epidural process okay. um, to correct the process in the procedure. So it's like a virtual injection or a virtual way of uh, doing a, uh, an epidural, is that correct? Basically, yes, and you get um, uh, feedback in, in the matter of results after you've done the uh, experiment. So you've got, the, uh, you've got the, like a, a test body that you plug into the, a laptop of some sort here and you can actually practice by injecting this into a, a virtual body or something like that? Uh, that that's correct. Using haptic technology, um, we can create feedback from yeah. the, uh, the injection process yeah. and um, you can imitate the whole procedure and uh, get results as a, an effort from doing this. Are you a doctor of all? Or? No. <laughs> so how did you come up with this idea then, Jason? Uh, well, it wasn't strictly my idea. Okay. Um, it's, it's more so the company's uh, idea. Uh, they've been moving on uh, technology similar to this to uh, produce these uh, high-end simulators for okay. the medical practice. Um, made in the future of the technology in this direction. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's a real niche sort of area that nobody else does anything like this before, isn't it? This product's pretty unique. Well, this, this this particular product is very unique, there's, uh, there's not any other products like this in the world. So. Do you think it could save lives? Save lives, save lives more so um, s saving injury. Yeah? Um, is it a problem with, I mean I've never had an epidural you're, you're, done? Or? You're dealing with the spinal cord which is a very... Um, sensitive, that's the way, the central nervous system isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an area you don't really want to mess with too much. And, uh, the more practice uh, anesthetists can get on this, the better. That's great, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, instead of them stuffing up on a real person, they can actually stuff it up 20,000 times on this particular exactly. thing. And, and the, the good thing about this, um, this procedure is that uh, people practicing on it don't get told when they're making mistakes until the end. So, oh, okay. So they can, they can make mistakes and learn from their mistakes. So has there been much demand or has there been much feedback for this product now that you've got it up and running? We, we have built quite a great... Uh, a lot of interest. Yeah, um, yeah there's uh, we have a database of people yeah. wanting these machines and um, in in Australia and around the world. So, so how do anaesthetists feel about this particular device? They're not threatened by it at all? Or? They're they're not threatened about about this kind of equipment. It's, it's aiding what they do. Yeah. Um, uh, if you can train someone in the space of uh, um, half an hour, and yeah. you get uh, solid feedback from that. Yeah. Uh, it's readily available to people. Yeah. Um, so uh, it cuts down costs, yeah. cuts down the experimentation on uh, animals, yeah. um, and it improves the whole process. So they should used to test it on animals beforehand, was it? Is that the process they used to do? It, it can it can be done. Okay. Um, and how long does it take to get from development or from idea into a deployment stage for this device? Uh, just over two years. Two years full time for yourself, was it? Uh, not myself. Um, a team. A team. So how many guys in the team? Um, we've, we've used a manufacturing company, we've used uh, um, anesthetist consultants, we've used uh, uh, consultants. Um, so, uh, it's, it's, a lot of people. It's, it's an unknown quantity. There's yeah. a lot of people involved in this yeah. project. It's, it's not solely one person's work. And what do you see the future of this particular device in the next, say, two, two three years when it actually gets released? Um, it's actually getting released uh, in, in about three months' time. Oh, beautiful. Um, the, uh, the future is, because it's um, a portable product, mm. it's, it's world, world use in applications around the world. Yeah. Um, orders, looking at orders from the UK, Europe, US, yeah. all over the place. So you don't have to really market it, it's just marketed itself, isn't it, or word of mouth? We, we have got a, a marketing group. Oh, so, uh, a group of group of guys? Yeah, it's uh, more than merit, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Have you got a website if people want to find out more about this particular device? We have. It's called... Um, Medic Vision, M E D I C V I S I O N dot com dot AU. And there's still like a virtual session on there on how the actual device works or what it looks like. So there, there? there's um, information on there to help you through the procedure, and we can uh, offer downloadable content. Well. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations on winning the Olympic Award.